Every two years in early October, automotive enthusiasts from the world over descend on Paris as car makers show off their latest creations. Mercedes-Benz couldn't wait until the fair's official opening day to present the AMG GT Roadster. The open top two-seater puts out some 410 kilowatts. At the fair itself, Mercedes promoted its upcoming Generation EQ line, a range of electric SUV coupes. The concept car on display here has a range of 500 kilometers. It's something of a sneak preview of what Mercedes calls the electric intelligence range. Meanwhile, an electric convertible edition of the Smart will hit showroom floors as early as spring 2017. Opel also had a bolt of electric power on show. The new Ampera E, likewise, has an official range estimate of 500 kilometers. With 150 kilowatts, it makes the dash from 0 to 50 kilometers per hour in just 3.2 seconds. We've made major investments in a new battery and developed the entire car around it. We intend to make a great many more products based on this technology. Porsche was in town to unveil the Panamera 4 e-Hybrid. The ultra-efficient version consumes only two and a half liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. This car has amazing acceleration at a top speed of 280 kilometers per hour. It also has an electric range of 50 kilometers in the city. Proactive planning in the development of the second Panamera generation allowed Porsche to integrate the additional engineering needed for the plug-in hybrid without problems. Among the real stunners in Paris was Hyundai's RN30. The concept is based on the i30 and has its roots in motorsports. Hyundai wants to make these high-performance engines available to its customers. They now have 380 horsepower. The production version will likely have a bit less. We want to offer customers just under 300 horsepower in an i30 and later in other products. The i30 is Hyundai's best-selling model right now. In Paris, the carmaker showed off the third generation featuring a new 1.4-liter turbo gasoline engine with 103 kilowatts. Nissan presented the fifth generation of the Micra. For 30 years now, the city car has been delighting drivers across the planet. We've sold 7 million units, half of them in Europe. And now we have something the segment hasn't seen before. Three functions, the around view monitor, headrest speakers for perfect acoustics, and an active lane keep assist. The new Micra is set to hit the streets next spring. Audi made quite an entrance with a new sedan edition of the RS3. Things have also changed for Audi's most popular model, the Q5. The new generation comes with optional adjustive air suspension and optimized engines. The new Q5 is up to 65 kilos lighter than its predecessor. Seat wowed the crowds with an all-new stand concept. 4D goggles and moving seats keep all your senses busy for an unforgettable visitor experience. One model here at Seat took center stage, the Ateca Experience. It's an SUV that prefers urban environments, but this new take makes it even more ready to rumble off-road. Skoda brought along its latest baby, the distinctive-looking Kodiak. The subtle contouring combines well with the robust overall look. The 2-meter 79 wheelbase is the longest in its class and translates into above-average interior space. The Kodiak goes on sale in March 2017. List prices in Germany start at 25,500 euros. The Lexus Kinetic seat concept also celebrated its world premiere. It involves a fiber net construction similar to a spider's web and can adapt to the driver's body shapes. 
It's featured in the UX with its futuristic inside-out design. The SUV concept was created at Lexus's European Design Center in the south of France. Nine years after the last Ignis, Suzuki showcased the new generation in the French capital. The subcompact has impressive functionality. An optional powertrain by the name of Smart Hybrid Vehicle by Suzuki, or SHVS, promises to make the pint-sized crossover even more fuel efficient. The FCV Plus by Toyota reportedly has three functions. It generates electricity from water to power itself. It can also charge up other electric vehicles by transferring its power to other cars via the local power grid. Plus, the fuel cell can be removed and used elsewhere to generate power. We have in-wheel motors in all four wheels. That means all-wheel drive, but also a very compact vehicle with an enormous interior. It shows that it's possible for a fuel cell to give even a small car a long range. Energy consumer turned energy supplier. Over the next nine years, Volkswagen plans to build over 30 new electric models as part of its strategy 2025. Giving visitors in Paris an idea of what to expect was the 125 kilowatt ID with an official range of 600 kilometers on electric power. And it's charged inductively without any cables. The new architecture also changed the inside dimensions. The exterior proportions of a Golf with an interior the size of a new Passat. Price-wise, it's around the same as a contemporary diesel, so electromobility will prevail. Following in the tire tracks of the Beetle and Golf, Volkswagen envisages the ID as the epitome of future mobility. It might take some time until we have only electric cars on the streets, but VW is fully aware of that.